The UCU is at a home participating in the water use efficiency program and we are running a quick test to determine how fast the irrigation zones apply water. This is important because in order to apply the right amount of water, you have to know how fast each zone actually applies it. Um, what we've done is we've set out some what we call catch cans, and these are really simple buckets that we bought at a local hardware store. Um, they are all the same size and that's important. And we are running the irrigation for about 15 minutes. We'll measure the volume of water caught in each can and then we'll use that to calculate an average application rate for the zone. Now as a homeowner, what you can do is you can use tuna cans or any other straight-sided short can, and that helps because with these, we're gonna have to measure the volume of water collected and then divide by the surface area of the can to determine the depth of water. Um, but if you use a tuna can, which is straight-sided, you can just stick your ruler in, measure the amount of water in each can, and then use that to determine the application rate. Now if you were doing this at your home, what you would do is take tuna cans or chicken cans, anything that's a straight sided can and not too deep, um, between three inches and six inches in diameter, and place those out in your yard. Now you need at least six. You'd run the irrigation for 15 minutes and then take a ruler and you can just stick that in and measure exactly how many inches you've collected. In this example, we've collected a quarter of an inch of water in our 15 minutes, which would mean an inch of water per hour applied. So we placed six tuna cans out in the landscape and run the irrigation for 15 minutes and then measured the depth collected in each can. What we're going to do now is run through an example of how to calculate the application rate or how fast the system applies water using those depths collected. Here's six numbers representing six depths collected in the tuna cans. And what we want to do is take the average of those numbers. So you would add them up and then divide by six. And what we come out with is three-eighths of an inch. Now that was the amount of water we collected in 15 minutes. So what we want to do is multiply by 4 to get our inches per hour, which is 1.5 inches per hour. And we're doing this because 15 minutes is a quarter of an hour. So we multiply by 4 to get a full hour. So this 1.5 inches per hour is how fast that irrigation zone applies water. Now the University of Florida recommends never irrigating more than a half of an inch to three quarters of an inch per irrigation event. So if we wanted to figure out how quickly our system applies half an inch, we would take one half inch and divide by our application rate, 1.5 inches per hour, and that gives me one third of an hour. Now to figure that out in minutes, you would multiply by 60, and that gives you 20 minutes. So you'd never want this zone to irrigate longer than 20 minutes or else you would be applying more than a half an inch of water. 